Welcome to our spelling net cast. Make sure that you are prepared with a Ziploc bag, zip top bag, scissors for cutting out our words, a pencil, and a notebook to write our sorts in, and of course, your words. First, let's cut out the words. See if you can get it faster than I am. All right. Cut out straight on the ends. We're going to save this top piece up here. So I'm going to actually cut right through here. Make sure you throw those in the proper area. We're going to take this and we'll put that up there. All right, here's my exemplars. We'll cut those out in just a minute. Our exemplars we are using today are T E R R A S T R slash A S T E R A E R H Y D R A and H Y D R O. All right, so there's three, six, nine. 12, 15, 18, all right, there's our words. When I am finished with my words, after I've sorted them all, then I will put them in my spelling words bag and keep them either with my folder or in my notebook or I will put them on the refrigerator. All right, so here's my words. I'm going to cut out my exemplars, and we're going to write those out on the top of the paper. All right, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these out on my thing and write them in, because we're going to do a little note here. So we've got T-E-R-R-A-S-T-R slash A-S-T-E-R. A E R and H Y D R A slash H Y D R O. Now, we can either write this up at the top or, like I like to do, I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and glue this right across the top. That way we remember what our sorts are and we'll never forget those. All right? Okay. Now that I have my exemplars there, what I will do is take these, put these in my bag for tonight, and then I can use those a little bit later. All right, so let's look at a couple of these words, because in our sort today, we've got some Latin roots and some Greek roots. Let's start out with T-E-R-R. -R. The Latin root T-E-R-R -R, actually means earth, so I'm going to put that right above it. So T-E-R-R -R means earth, so look at this word right here. We've got terrain, T-E-R-R-A-I-N, terrain. Say the word and write it. Now we're going to say this out, but what I want you to do is I want you to say the word making each sound in the word. So, ter rain. Ter rain. So we got T E R R. Terrain are tracts of land which is earth. Got it? All right. Now and this one's an interesting one as I look at this because as I was looking through my sorts, I found a word in here that I thought was kind of interesting for terrain. Look at that. Terrier. Terrier. Isn't Terrier a dog? Isn't that interesting? Terrier is a dog. But Terriers are little dogs that used to hunt rats and other rodents and willing to dig holes in the earth to catch them. So that's why they're called Terriers. 
dig holes in the earth and hunt for little animals. Interesting. So our next um, exemplar we have over here is A-S-T-R, A-S-T-E-R. This is a uh, Latin or Greek root. This is a Greek root that means star. So we've got earth and we've got star. So when we look at the word astronomy, astronomy, make sure that you're saying the word as you write it, sound it out. Astronomy, we've got the stars, which is the study of the stars. Interesting. So we've got astronomy there, and we've got an Another one that is one that I think is interesting, and we've talked about this guy before. If I can find my, oh, there he is. Astronaut. Astronaut. So astro means star, not N A U T means sailing. So nautical is sailing. So it's a star sailor. Isn't that interesting? So it's actually a star sailor. All right. So our next word is A-E-R. And A-E-R actually looks like air. That is also a Greek word. That means Air. So our first word that we're going to look at is aerosol. Aerosol. A E R O S O L. Aerosol. And aerosol is air that is a liquid substance, actually, that's sealed in a metal can and uses air to push it out. So that's an aerosol. And then we've got another one here that is, oh, let's not use that one. Let's kind of go with that other one that we were looking at. Kind of like astronaut, we've got aeronaut. Aeronaut. So aeronaut is air sailor, which is balloons. Hmm. That's kind of cool. So they sail through the air in balloons. Check this one out. We need to go back to this one really quick because I want you to see this one. Well, we'll, we'll do that one in just a minute. Let's do the, the Hydra Hydro. And you might already know this one, but this one has to do with water. Earth, stars, air, and water. So when we talk about dehydrated dehydrated we're talking about not d means not hydrated and hydrate is to combine with water so when you dehydrate it means you are not combined with water or you have no water and so you get dehydrated Interesting. So, and our next word we're going to do on that is the opposite of dehydrate, which is to hydrate. Hydrate. All right. So, there's hydrate. So, we've got some of our words in here. We're going to do one more word, and that's this one right here. All the rest of them I'm going to make you do and write down um, after you... Uh, as you finish the rest of these, make sure you sort them in the right places and write them down. Make sure that you are saying the words and make sure that you underline what the uh, exemplars are. Disaster. Disaster. It goes under, ooh, right there. Disaster. So let's talk about disaster. This one comes at the end of the word 
And so disaster, does it really mean star? How does that relate to astronomy and astronaut? Well, the ancient Greeks believed that the future could be told through the study of the stars. So a disaster should be foretold in the stars. And so dis means ill stars. So it's ill starred. So it's a disaster. It should have been foretold in the stars. So there's our, uh, there's our lesson for today. We've got T-E-R-R, -R, we've got A-S-T-R, A-S-T-E-R, A-E-R, Hydra, H-Y-D-R-A, and H-Y-D-R-O. All right, so now complete the sort by reading the word aloud, then sounding out the word and writing it under the correct exemplar. All right, good luck.